Okay, okay, guys. So we're going to react to um this guy's death. I don't know, like, why am I excited about reacting to? I want to react to somebody's death, and I'm excited. Yeah, hope you forgive me. Um, so we're going to be reacting to. Hope, hope my this is good recording and everything. We're going to be reacting to um AKA's death. Yeah, I've already put this number on the search bar. So I'm going to message on WhatsApp. Let's keep it so continue. Okay, so we're going to write to AK's death. Huh? So they say, bro, the guy died last yesterday. Today is what? Today is it's 11. So he died yesterday. So he was a victim of of a catast catastrophe. Catastrophe. Uh, AK fighter, Wapa, he gone down in Durban. So if you, you think we should go to first, what well, is? You guys are all grinding. They're dropping me every minute. Discuss with his rapper's death. I'll go to um this one that I watched. Let's check this one out first. This one I first saw, the video I first saw, so let me show Gossips, you. Gossips, trending, viral content, celebrating lifestyle. Welcome to Miracle Jameson. Hey guys, welcome to Wanky Channel. This is the first time you kindly go to hit that subscribe button. Now back to the video. So guys, the South African police have finally discovered what really happened at the crime scene at um Florida Road, Durban, South Africa, concerning AKA's Pasi. So guys, according to the police, so the the video they are watching here, this one here. It's one of his um last is um it was this this is one of his last um moments according to what they say his story that he posted a few hours before his death. Actually, two gunmen that ambushed AKA and his bodyguard. So AKA was actually with his bodyguard at Florida Road Dober. But unfortunately, these guys really meant to end aka's life so they decided to take the life of aka and his bodyguard so it wasn't only aka who passed on so guys this is the report according to the police and it was reported that aka had just left the restaurant he was about like leaving that area when this happened listen to what the police had to say concerning this i'll see you guys towards the end what we can confirm for, for now is that um, a well-known um, musician. I don't understand why police are talking like this. For me, it, it looks like he's blushing or whatever. Let's speak out. 35 years old and his bodyguard, who said to be 34 years old, was shot and killed in a roadside on Florida Road on Friday night. What we know for now is that uh, the musician and uh, the police um, I'm good. I can't hear what this guy is saying. I swear. You guys can hear. I'm sorry for pausing the video back to back, but I can't really hear. And suffer in a restaurant. So as they were leaving the, for their vehicle, um, two unknown gunmen uh, came across the street on foot and opened fire on them, killing them instantly. Were there any other people injured during the incident? Nobody was really injured apart from the uh, two uh, men who were killed. And what sort of investigation is currently being undertaken by the police? It is early stage, but we will be investigating two counts of murder and um, I do video. Of, of finding the culprits and uh, bring them to justice. Mm. So I'm recording, recording that, video. Uh, so you can um, went I'm across the street you. when the musician and his bodyguard had just left a restaurant and fired the battery gunshots. Okay, um, what cases are open at the moment? So the police will be investigating two counts of murder. Okay. Are you able maybe to tell us the motive? What is the motive of the king has not yet been established as yet and we do not want to speculate on what could have caused the shooting. Our investigations hopefully will reveal what uh, caused the shooting. Okay, thank you. So guys, this is actually the latest information on this AK. Like, this is sad because at first, I might say I thought that 
knew he was um, a victim of a drive-by shooting. She guys get because I thought maybe like they was not they were not aiming for AK. Like they were aiming for someone else, but unfortunately he was lost in the way. But now seeing that he was actually the one they were going for this. Oh well, nowadays I don't know why they are always getting rappers offline. I did like give us carrying. But it's so sad. I swear to God, but is case and trust me i'm going to keep you guys updated but for now i'm going to end this video right here thanks for watching i'll see you guys some other time let's check another video he's so sad on oh god this rapper aka see youtube and clickbait you see youtube and clickbait you'll see youtube and clickbait let's look at this whole clickbait here that's 24 hours before he died he knew it it's clickbait on God is clickbait. Do you watch it? How many minutes is this one? One minute. Okay, rapper Kiernan it. Forbes. The rapper was 35 years old. Forbes family confirmed his passing in a statement. How old? How old was he? 35. Rapper was 35 years old. Forbes family confirmed his passing in a statement, which was released on Saturday morning after reports that he was gunned down along with his bodyguard outside a restaurant in Durban. KwaZulu Natal on Friday night. His family said, Forbes was shot dead in a drive by shooting on Florida Road while he was standing outside Wish Restaurant on Friday night. He was due to perform at a Durban nightclub, Yugo, as part of his birthday celebrations. The statement, which was released by his parents, Tony and Lynn Forbes, read to us Kiernan Jerry Forbes was a son, brother, grandson, nephew, cousin and friend, most importantly, father to his beloved daughter Caro. To many, he was aka Super Mega Boba, and the many other names of affection his legion of fans called him by. Our son was loved and gave love in return. In this time of grief, we appeal for your compassion, space, and time to congregate as a family and decide on the upcoming days. According to the police, the shooting happened at around 10 p.m. on Florida Road, which is regarded as an entertainment street in Durban. The road came to a standstill as it was closed off following the shooting. Wazulu Natal Police spokesperson Robert Netchunda said, a well-known 35-year-old musician and his bodyguard, who is said to be 34 years old, was shot and killed in Morningside, Florida Road, on Friday night. What we have for now is that the musician and his security details were having supper at the restaurant, and as they were leaving to their vehicle, two unknown gunmen opened fire on them. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you like my videos. Guy is so sad. And this particular content creator now made the most sad and with the background with the console. I think whenever I'm thinking of this whole stuff, what normally comes to my head was like, I usually watch ridiculous things. So there was a time that this guy came. Uh, AK came to ridiculous things, guy. That was I, I knew AK, but when he came to ridiculous things, then like I said, like following the only question they asked him that that his name is AKA, I mean, you know, AKA. That why did that he went for the name AKA, unlike other musician, like for example, his kid now, his name is um, Ola, something like that. Then his name is Ola GD, then you can see that his name is Ola GD, AKA Whiskey. That why did AKA go for AKA? It was like. You know, it's laziness. So, I don't know that name was down, but it's. I'm not like a huge fan of AK, but like I know him, feel me? I know AK, like, you know, him and, um, what do you call this guy again? Him and. Him and Nasty Seed are like one of the best rappers that I know in South Africa. So, it's so sad, so, so sad. So I'm not going to end the video here if I start crying. I want to cry. But um, you guys should please like and uh, comment. I try making my I try improving my videos because I feel that I try I try improving my videos and if you guys see any sort of improvement, please leave a like, comment, and that will mean a lot to me. Um yeah, thanks for watching and we out.